Now they get a crack at the number one team in the country. And they'll start from the 25 yard line. Ocean. Franz first pass is not going to be a pass. It's going to be a sack. And it's Quinton Williams. Five to kick. Not the greatest punt. It's going to be fielded at the 35 by Jalen Waddle. Waddle got the edge. He's at midfield. Waddle. Judy in motion, the spin move by Tagovailoa, and now pressured, and down it goes. DeAndre Walker and Jawan Taylor. There, throw it away. And by the way, keep an eye on Tua, because I think he tweaked that right knee on this sack. He came up limping on the play. Tagovailoa scans the field, fires to the end zone. It's intercepted. Richard LeCount for Georgia, going the other way. Look out, got a convoy. What a turnaround. He turns and then comes back. What a play. After the interception, illegal block in the back on the return team, number 44. That's a 10 yard penalty. From the 21. Tagovailoa in trouble again, lofts it wide open and drops. You don't see that happen very often, Herb Smith. Jalen Hurts standing by. That's his numbers from last year, and that's the reason Nick Saban made the change to Tua at halftime. Georgia first down. Their third possession now at the 40-yard line. From quick throw, got his man, Holloman, back into Alabama territory. From the throw again, again down the middle. On a crossing route is Terry Godwin. And Godwin, the throw, not a touchdown. This one, you can't throw a ball better than this. Boom, right in the face mask. He fakes it to him, has plenty of time, steps into a deep middle throw and got it complete. And it's Henry Ruggs to midfield. Najee Harris, his first run straight up the middle, powering his way down inside the 30-yard line. Second and 10. Here's Josh Jacobs on a little draw play. Jacobs heading to the goal line in. I think his knee was down. On foot line. Jacobs, the tailback in the eye, gets the call and walks in. Touchdown, Alabama. Brown looks left all the way, just flips it out to Werner, and he's got a first down. So back-to-back -back catches. From throws, caught Godwin, and he crawls his way to the 29-yard line. Nine and a half minute mark of the quarter. Blitz is coming. From throws complete again. This one complete to Tyler Simmons. Swift trying to pick his way inside to the end zone. Touchdown, George. Flip out the open. It's his dead leg. Watch his step and run right through. Savion Smith, number four. That one. And three wide receivers, but it's Swift all the way. DeAndre Swift blasts his way to the 31. And tight. Oh, he's wide open. Bomb to Swift. Swift to the end zone. Touchdown. Was pushing two of a move. Nobody covers number seven. Run through a tackle. That is good coaching. That is game planning. It's an old miss. It's lasted six minutes and 38 seconds, courtesy of Georgia. But here comes Josh Jacobs. There goes Josh Jacobs. Jacobs inside the 30. Still on his feet. Wow, what a run. The old reliable running game. And that time, the Alabama offensive line showed what they can do. Let Leatherwood did the job. Damian Harris again, and Harris has got the first down. He might have more to the one. Jacobs is the guy that got him down there. And he lost the ball going in. Wait a minute. Watch him reach out. Second effort. Ball's, balls down. Now see if he can grab the ball. A ruling on the field.
as the ball was fumbled forward, recovered by Georgia for a touchback. That's a review. The ball was fumbled by Alabama and recovered by Alabama for a touchdown for Alabama. And when you and I first started doing this, we would have just had to live <laughs> with it being a touchback and not a touchdown. But they got it right, and that's the goal. Rid of it. Here they come. And he not only got rid of it, did a pretty nice job to get it out across midfield. And uh, might have used all the clock. It did. Good job by number 90. It's halftime. Georgia fans are thinking, can we get them back? Last year, we took them to overtime, and we let them off the hook because of that guy. And now with a touchdown lead at the break, the number four team in the land leading the top-ranked Crimson Tide by a touchdown. To Jamie with Coach Saban. Coach, you've been plagued by slow starts recently, and then to see some mental errors in the first half, how do you make those adjustments now? Well, you know, we did make some mental errors. Um, you know, we got to play better on defense. They're running the ball on us. We're not staying in our gaps. We're not executing the calls that we're making. So uh, we got to do better. But we've also squandered opportunities by throwing an interception down in the red area, not moving the ball consistently enough on, you know, offense when we have it. So dropping a couple balls. So all in all, not a real good half. All right, Coach, thanks. Thank you. Elijah again cuts this one outside. Got the first down, got the edge, has the speed to take it all the way to the 21-yard line. From the 23. Looks right, goes right to the end zone. Did he catch it? He did. Touchdown, Riley Ridley. This ball went directly away from us. It was, again, another perfect pass. Savion Smith says if you can throw a ball that well, you get a touchdown. And he threw the ball that well. Look at that. There's about a foot window to throw the ball. Alabama is showing some pressure. They bring it off the corner. Fromm throws down the middle. Isaac Nada. Nada. Still running. All the way to the 20. For Georgia. Up and wide left. He missed it. So that gives Alabama a little bit of life. Somebody might have been, right? Tagovailoa down the middle, got his man. And it's Jalen Waddell who bounces off the tackle. There's a big play they were looking for out to the 45-yard line. Georgia with a blitz. Tua delivers to Judy. Ball is out, but he got on top of it for the first down. Tagovailoa going deep again. It's intercepted by J.R. Reed. Made up the throw. He's throwing the ball to number 17, Waddle. The ball is poorly thrown. Did you see how Waddle had to stop for the ball? That's when Reed was able to close and make the play. A poor throw by Tua. And a second interception by Georgia. Tagovailoa throws complete Waddle in full stride. Jalen Waddle gone. Touchdown, Alabama. Keep shooting. I'm due. 51 yards. And right there it is. I see it. Swatting. Play action. Tagovailoa. Steps into it, throws a dart, complete, and it's Ruggs again. Tagovailoa, Georgia brought an extra man, and they got him from behind. DeAndre Walker, I think, again. Behind from, they give it on a sweep to Stanley, and Stanley down the sideline, and then Sertan... Almost a helmet to helmet there. And now Nicole Hardman goes in motion the other way. Fromm rolls, throws late, and it's caught by Ridley. Doing a good job. Second and 12. Play action, look one way, come back to the middle, complete across the 30. First down to Devontae Smith. Whoa. Josh Jacobs in motion. Tagovailoa 
fires in and out of the hands of Ruggs. Had to go airborne to try to pull that down, and Tua is down again. Well, this time it looks like he's holding that right knee, doesn't he? I can't tell. Well, either can I, but I was guessing. I, I <laughs> tell you the truth. <laughs> Jalen Hurts is starting to warm up. I didn't see the end of the play here until now. Oh, oh it looks like it's it his, gave his right. Looked like his right ankle. Oh, he, oh, he got, got hit stepped by his on. Guy. Yes, by Williams. Got stepped on by Jonah Williams as he threw. How ironic would this be? If Jalen Hurts has to come in to play quarterback. Yes. Well, he's expecting to. And that doesn't look good at all. He spent a lot of time in the tent in the first half, and he's going back to the tent, I can guarantee you. And that means Jalen Hurts, the guy who won all but two of the games that he started and was replaced at halftime of the national championship game on January 8th, comes in to take over for the guy that won that game. And he had a brutal first half in the national championship game. He struggled in the Iron Bowl. He struggled against Clemson. He had a brutal first half. I think he was 0 for 3 if my memory serves me right. He was 3 out of 8 three. for the game. Did run for 47 yards though and Jalen Hurts has got to throw it here. Three wide outs to the top of your screen. Jalen Getting some pressure down the middle. He throws a strike to Irv Schmidt for the first down. Sometimes when you're a good teammate and a good guy, the world and the game finds you again. Remember how he stood there and cheered his teammate. He stayed when everybody thought he would transfer. Third and five for him here. Georgia brings the extra man. Hurts try to run away from the heat. Lofts one on the sideline. Is it caught by Waddle? Yes. What a story. The whole offseason. As Tyler Clark, number 52, puts the pressure right up the middle. Kalen gets, Kalen gets away. Remember SEC Media Days, Brad? We were asked the question a hundred times. <laughs> Will Jalen Hurst stay at Alabama? He's in there right now trying to draw even with Georgia to the Alabama locker room. Pump fake by Hurts. Wants to come back the other way. He's going to run for it now, and he's got enough speed to get that much. Stayed. And he's got his team in the red zone. Damian Harris up the middle. Harris for nine more. Inside the 10. Hurts. Sets his feet, now starts to use his feet. Throws on the run. Touchdown, Judy. What a play. Comes out, comes in, and then pointed, and then runs back out for the play, and Jalen Hurts puts it right there. 80 yards and 16 plays. Jalen Hurts, a remarkable story. It's tied at 28. Motion across the field. Blitz coming from Alabama. Fromm trying to loft one to Swift, and he got it to him. And Swift down the sideline. Cuts back to the 50. From looking left the whole way, throws. Broken up. Jake Camarda. And it's a fake. Justin Fields. Oh my gosh. It was fourth and 11. Alabama's going to take over at the 48 yard line. To say the least. And he threw for the touch. Set to throw here, too, if he can get it away. Georgia coming after him. He breaks away. He's still running. Almost dropped the ball, but he crossed midfield before Crowder brought him down. Hurts throws down the middle, and he's got it to Irv Smith, who dropped the ball but covered it. That's the third time Alabama has recovered a fumble, their own fumble, in this game. But how about the poise of Jalen Hurts? Good pocket, good protection, and a perfect throw. 19 to the 31. Jalen Hurts looking for more. Going to the far sideline, and he's got Waddle again. Breaks out. Perfect. 
perfect throw. Gets to the right guy. Overtime. Just inside the 16. Quarterback draw. Jalen Hurts. Touchdown. Jalen. I like both teams fans are in shock. All of us extra point is good. With a minute and four seconds remaining in the ball game, Alabama leads by a touchdown. It was a called quarterback draw. Similar to the play when he scored against Clemson when he left the field with the lead. Although Deshaun Watson. From going to throw it in the flats to DeAndre Swift. See if he can make something happen. He got eight yards. And from deep drop. Waits. Fires on a crossing route to God when he got the first down. Backfield. Watch him go deep. He's not going to get it. Timeout, good timeout by Kirby Smart. LeBron Ray with a sack. From spins the ball back there, and he's going deep right now. Double coverage broken up at the goal line. Ridley, the intended receiver. And that means now they're down to one throw. And have one second left. From throws, going to have to hurry, not going to get out of bounds. First down, but there's three seconds left. They have time to take a timeout now and then throw to the end zone. Georgia fans hoping for a prayer. It'll be a three man rush. And it'll be Terry Godwin to the left. Riley Ridley and all the Holloman, way and Hardman to the right and all the way back is Mac Wilson He's the last player the last defender the middle linebacker and the last play of the game Fromm's in trouble can he even get a pass away loads goes to the end zone jump ball Incomplete and Alabama has won it SEC champions come from Tuscaloosa and two old friends embrace out at midfield after a battle that lasted and lasted and almost went to overtime a second time. Another heartbreaking setback for Georgia. Jubilation on the Alabama sideline once again. The winning coach is with Jamie. Coach, what words do you have about Jalen Hurts and what he just did for your team right now? Well, we've always had a lot of faith in Jalen, and, you know, I told him when we put him in, when Tua got hurt, it's your time, and he certainly took advantage of it and did a fantastic job. I'm, I'm so proud of this guy for what he's done this year. I can't even tell you. Great comeback for our team. Showed a tremendous amount of resiliency, you know, in the game. Uh, we didn't play great. But we won the SEC today, and we're so happy about that. After he goes in, what else sparks that turnaround for Jalen and this offense? Well, you know, we got a couple stops on defense. We were struggling, right? and, you know, the offense just kept going out there and playing, and we made some plays, and we knew we could make them. We just had to make them, and we did. When you saw your team play the way they did in the first half, did you know exactly what needed to be done to, take, to pull this one off tonight? Yeah, we, we, we had to make some adjustments on a couple formations. They had us a little messed up on. And we got the players straight on that and played a little better in the second half. All right, I'm going to talk to this young man right here. Coach, thank you. Jalen, when you see Tua go down a couple times tonight, but for the final time, what did that moment feel like for you when you went back under center? Um, I honestly didn't know what to think. You know, all year I've kind of been waiting on my opportunity. Um, and regardless of how it went, you know, my opportunity came today. And I worked hard really weak this week with my teammates. And um, we found a way to get it done today. 
you put that drive together on the winning touchdown. What had the game unfolded and looked like to you on the sideline that made you know that you could pull this one off? Well, I know at Alabama there's always an opportunity to win. We worked so hard in the offseason, you know, blood, sweat, and tears together. And um, today, you know, we found a way to get it done. I'm so happy. Happy for everybody. Congratulations, Jalen. Thank you. I'm not sure I've ever seen Nick Saban emotional. He got choked up talking about the uh, number two. How could he not? A guy that stayed an extra year when all of us experts thought that he would look for another place to land and show his talent somewhere else. He stuck it out. He proved that he could. We all knew he could play. He was the SEC Player of the Year two years ago. What a combination. Tua didn't have his great game, but his backup came through.